Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Hunter Hunter episodes 134 and 135. So another King's Guard is down. Yuppie's been killed by Wellfin. Assume well, actually, actually, there was a revelation at the end of the last episode that maybe Netro is involved in something and Wellfin may not have even needed to kill UP. Yeah, yeah, maybe he just dropped dead because it didn't seem like he had any wounds or anything. Yeah, because then even Shia started coughing up something. So yeah. Um, they're being, the yeah, well, they're being like slowly killed. Well, it might not be that slow, but Palm is saying they are dying. Mm. Have they been poisoned? What has Netero done? I'm not sure, but we saw the rose and. Okay. Maybe there was some radiation poisoning from the explosion. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know exactly how it works because I have no idea how Netero would do this mm. we have seen the sort of the nen after death and all of that we have seen it used before but not entirely sure how netro would be using that <laughs> something invisible might be happening that they'll show us later yeah i'm not entirely sure uh and then at the same time killer and gone seem to be somewhat okay but we don't know exactly what's happened to gone mm. um, i'm guessing he's like on death's doorstep yeah he'd be he'd be in a bad way but he does still seem to be alive because He's still got that Marge Simpson form, yes. as, as you said. Did he have two arms when Palm was... It was hard to say. Yeah, it was hard to say. Yeah, I guess we'll find out in this episode. Also, um, Meriwem has remembered that he was in a contest with someone and uh, he's likely going to get those exact memories back very soon. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. I just got chills. Mm. Mm. What the bums can do, man. Yeah. Shit. I I love this whole scene here. Mm. I think it adds beautifully so, to the art. So good. So bad and devastating. Poisonous. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. So it was that, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is what is yeah. happening to yeah. Marrow and yeah. stuff, is that what you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Radiation poisoning. Okay. Well, it just says poison. Yeah. Wow. We probably should have came to that sooner, to be honest. Mm. Meriwem must know that he's dying too. My question is, how did Palm know? Well, she worked in closely with them, right? That group. She probably knows about... Okay. ...that ability that he had to blow himself up. Or that he had the bomb. It doesn't matter anyway. He just takes it though. Like he doesn't kill him for it. Yeah, he's using it. And I hope he can say goodbye to Kamugi. Mm. Maybe they can play one last game. No, oh, look how quick he got there. He's gonna kill him. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. You were right to check me on that. It did happen. Yeah. Wellfin is just easy to raid. That's crazy, man. My god. <laughs> oh, no. Stop! He's really got a new one to shut up. Oh my gosh, of course you did. He won't be saying nothing now. Well. You're shitting me. This is how he's going to go out? <laughs> Guy's got nine lives. How is this man alive? <laughs> no. Way. Oh my gosh. It's like Nov. What the no, shit? I hate to see that. He's gonna offer him a Calgo or something. Oh, he looks like Beerus. How are you gonna do Beerus like that? What the heck? Beerus looks nothing like that, and Beerus is a damn cat. Movie. No. He's gonna. Okay, what other word is gonna do it? Maybe the Did game. Calgo. Gotta be her name or the game's name. Gungi. Something. It's not gonna remind him. Yeah. No way. Oh, please. Chills. Oh, I love how they drew the image in the back there. Oh, oh that was so great. It's like he's heaven. Yeah, it's like his paradise. That, like he whispered her name as well. <laughs> Should have died, mate. <laughs> Now he sees. Does he regret it? Hmm. 
For real? He's a forgiving man now. This is the luckiest anime character I've ever seen. He's so overpowered now. Like he's dying because, mm. well, actually, he doesn't even seem that dangerous. Oh no, he's gonna kill him. No, I don't think he is. Oh wow, yeah. Shia can't handle it. Mm. That's great. That was nice writing. Mm. Got the title card right at the start of the episode. I oh, know. Oh shit! Dang. This is important. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Shia style. Mm -hmm. I really love how he's transformed, both like physically and. Emotionally. Philosophically, yeah, yeah. Mm. So interesting. Everyone sweats around the king, but I just feel like he's not going to hurt anyone. Yeah. He can see everything. Oh, no. Feel everything. Take him. Wow. have too much time how is he going to convince her mm. take him oh. Netro was the first to notice the change in him too, I think. Is he gonna beg her? No. <laughs> Some believe he kneel down, man. It was like, you know, when they first, when Killua and Palm met up recently, yeah, like that same battle, down. it was that same battle as well yeah. that she was having. Oh, crap. He didn't make a fire at all. I think he had the worst demise out of all of them. Even Pito. <laughs> and she got destroyed. <laughs> Shit, man! You pricks! He did save him, after all. Well, it seems as though he didn't need to. The Meruem's all nice and shit now. <laughs> I think something did change, though, even mm. still after this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. 
No. That would have been enough. No. I need to see more. Gives credit to them. Wow. Completely humbled himself. Mm. He's itching to go. <laughs> is an equal <laughs> it would be interesting if he could win now <laughs> it's, I don't think it will happen making sure she's really giving it her all. Oh, this is her Nen. Because oh, he can see that now. Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting. It's... Shit. Shit! He could have read her mind too when he was playing right <laughs> to try and win, but he didn't. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Him bleeding out of her nose, isn't she? Instead mm -hmm. of snotting. Shit. Everything's dead in there. Mm. 
度も勝てなかったね何をおっしゃいますやら勝負はこれからですよそうだな1号Oh, he keeps checking, man. So, when Netero and Meruem had their fight, if you were to tell me that the arc was going to end like this, what, 10 episodes ago? I think, yeah, they, they had their fight about 10 episodes ago. I would not have expected it at all. But in saying that, I think it was the perfect end to the arc. Um, Gon and Meruem didn't exchange anything at all. I don't think. Did they even meet once? I don't, I don't think so. You know how, like, when Gon transformed, you're thinking, oh, Gon's going to save everyone. No one needed saving from Meruem. Yeah. But it works because they used Gon. Okay, so, so this is the way I'm going to try to explain it. They've used Gon and Meruem together without them associating themselves with each other at all. Mm. So Gon went into the opposite direction that Meruem did for a loved one in a way, right? So you've got... What happened with Kite, Gon turned himself into a monster. His his emotions took over him and he went into he went down a monstrous path, destructive path. Whereas Meruem, who was exposed to the goodness of humans, went down a completely different path. Pretty much gave up everything so then he could spend his last moments with Kamugi. Um and they went out together. He was like looking for his hand. You know, you know one thing that I actually really liked as well. And you don't notice the attachment or the respect that you have for the king's guards until Meruem showed them respect after they had died. Mm. So it was like when when Meruem said, "Oh, what did he say?" I owe them. He said something really nice. Yeah. Um, spoke about their loyalty. It's it's then when you're like, oh shit, you know what? The the king's guards were all right too. They had some bloody issues, but in terms of development and their sort of unwavering respect and faith in the king and and all of that was really nice. And to be completely honest. And I think this was the intention of Togashi, who, by the way, absolutely cooked in the later part of this arc. Yeah. It, was so, it was so well done. I mean, it would take so long to go through it all. I'll try my best. But what ended up happening was I felt way more for the villains and antagonists than the good guys. Yeah. That scene, you said that you were really enjoying it. I did too. Um, where it was just showing, like, you know, the rich becoming more rich and then the poor people all suffering, getting bombed. Diego. Suffering. 
Diego on his farm. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, Diego on his farm. Um, while everyone else was suffering and things like that, just to show like the the true horrific side of like bad humans. I love the the quote that it started off with. Pretty much was when Netero said, "We are no different from ants. We are far worse." Incredible. And then they showed the whole um like the capabilities of what mm. humans actually do are very representative of, you know, real life happenings. Yeah. You know, he's not just spitting shit. This isn't an opinion. Mm, like no, the writer obviously got inspiration from Yeah, you can you can see that in, in this arc actually. There there are a lot of points of this arc, especially where Togashi was obviously trying to teach us some lessons and he was sprinkling in harsh truths throughout the whole arc too. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely kind of get where he's coming from here, but um, it ended up being poison, radiation poisoning. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't just sort of pick up on that like you earlier. Oh, earlier. No, but right. earlier, like when, when you see an explosion that big mm. and they're right there, I was probably just thinking, oh, it's anime. It's an explosion. Yeah, yeah. It but didn't cross my mind at all. It's an actual bomb. Like, it's a nuke. Yes. <laughs> it's not like a, um energy explosion. It's an actual bomb that's mm. gone off. But I kind of also like it at the same time how it wasn't meant to be that obvious. Yeah. I just think if, if you really thought, like, if we really thought about it, we probably could have worked out that maybe um, there were going to be some side effects to being that close to the explosion. Mm-hmm. And just seeing Merowem on his path to Kamugi, you kind of see like, or you kind of expect him to take out anyone in his way, but he did the complete opposite, like, because he's changed so much. Um, when he knelt before Palm, that was mm. re- that was a beautiful sort of detail. Um, the fact that she watched the the end scene as well, yeah, will probably change her even more. I just like the foreshadowing there, like Netero. When he walked in and saw Meruem for the first time, I think he maybe foresaw some of this. Like, he must have seen the the change or the goodness or or something. Mm -hmm. Something was off, you know? Like, he didn't expect to see what he saw. And then, yeah, it turns out Kamugi just completely changed um, this, this being who got introduced to us. Like, let's remember, the ate a child's brain or something. Um, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, just I, I thought the development of the of the character was was very good. One of the best written villains I've seen, too. Yeah. Give credit to that straight off the bat. It's kind of tragic that the good side was victorious because of... Doing bad things? Like, the evil that's part of their humanity instead oh, right, of yeah. the good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. for yeah. example... Dragon Ball Z spoiler. Oh, you're using Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's not me using it. (laughs) It's me. (laughs) We have Goku and he's versing like a really evil villain. I don't remember which one. But (laughs) one of them. You'll remind me. And he uses... Have that back. (laughs) You don't remember? (laughs) It's a joke. (laughs) Go on. Look, I'm going to say... Come on. If you really think Uh, about it... I don't know. I know you saw it once and it was like, what, two years ago I now, but still. Don't. Was it boo? I don't know. Anyway. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I know where you're going. And he was like, the world was helping him out of the goodness of their it was, hearts. It was boo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause Mr. Satan and all that stuff was asking mm-hmm. them to help. Yeah. Um, they were like helping and it was like a great thing and they all worked together harmoniously and it was a good, good thing yeah. that they had all defeated this villain together Mm -hmm. as a team as a community as a group yeah this was the opposite yeah and this Mm. was so well done in that it was the opposite like which this is a lot harder to execute obviously because because you're you're trying to like for for togashi to have the foresight to be like okay in this moment here right at the end of this arc i need everyone who's reading this or watching this to feel sadness about this villain mm. who's about to die. That's hard to do. That's not an easy thing to do. Now, granted, he had a lot of episodes to do it. Um, and 
presumably a lot of chapters, but the way I think it was executed was really well done. Because, yeah, in the end, you find yourself, okay, it hits you like a truck, and you realize that out of all the characters in this arc, you probably are most invested all of a sudden in Meruem and Kamugi. Um, and I just like it. It wasn't, it didn't seem like, it wasn't weird. I, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of waiting for it to get weird. Because Hunter Hunter can be weird, <laughs> as we've seen. And What do you mean, weird? I don't know, between Meruem and Kamugi. Uh, but like it was you mean, like, romantically? I don't know. Uh. I don't know. But I was just expecting it to get weird. And why I liked it was because it was just pure. It was just a beautiful it was, it, yeah, yeah, it was just pure. There was no, like, there was nothing extra. It was just two sort of, I don't know, completely different, completely opposite beings. Mm. I don't know. They're just playing a board game, man. Just enjoying their company. Like, it didn't, it didn't need all that extra sprinkle of, I love you, or no, this and no, that. No, you, no, 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 you, nothing corny as well. It was just really nice. Um, so that was another thing that I really liked about the episode. I mean, I, I could probably go on about the episode. There was a lot of, and I'm sure you guys will point it all out in the in the um this, uh, in the comment section down below. But there's so many parallels that I was noticing. One thing I really liked was the the flashback of the queen naming Meruem, what that actually mm. meant, and then seeing like, I mean, you kind of at, at that time during that episode, you're thinking, oh shit. Yeah. What is she saying here? But it linked in beautifully with how the episode ended or how the so arc ended nice. too. Um, what his name actually meant. Um, oh. Don't cry. Okay. <laughs> I've just I've just realized something. Oh dear. I might choke up saying this. <clears throat> it means the light that illuminates all. Kamugi's blind. All she sees is darkness. Oh. That's like, that's the meaning. That's killed me. <laughs> Shit, damn it, son of a bitch. Prick of a bastard, prick. <laughs> Let me cook, man. No, 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 I don't need it. I don't need it. Let me cook. <laughs> um, I could probably turn this discussion into like an hour long if I just scan through yeah the the episode the animation they did for kamugi's nen was absolutely beautiful and yeah breathtaking. i was confused was there like for a sec so beautiful like bubbles and mm. lights and shit it was really good man like they were in space and stuff like the end credits and stuff like that yeah i loved it as well because that's kind of like I don't know, that that must be like how she envisages it in her mind. Playing the game. Yeah. Um, they de I mean, they definitely cooked at the end of this arc. I was obviously giving criticism um, at points in this arc. And, and some people can't take that. I hate to call them out, but can't deal with criticism and, and thought I was a hater. Like, I mean, some of these episodes, some of my favorite anime episodes, honestly. Yeah. Like, definitely not, not hating. I was just... It was just my feeling at the time, but I think I still stand by the criticisms, even though like we've seen, assuming this is the end of the arc, even though we've seen how it wraps up, I still stand by my criticisms, but like the, the peak moments were done so well mm. and the messages and the character writing all paid off really well. And it definitely was not predictable in the slightest. That's nah. another thing that... <laughs> Like he's done that a lot during Hunter Hunter, the author. Like yeah. I mean, he's he's kind of just sent you sent you on different paths. Do you think Killua, after all this, will still be able to see Gon as light? No. No, they definitely made a thing of showing us that. Oh, and this is what I really love about the arc too was. At the start, you're like, Gon, maybe Gon can save the day. Maybe Gon can help save everyone. Maybe Gon can, I don't know, be the light for humanity with Netteror mm -hmm. and all of that. And it just kind of goes the opposite way, but really well. Uh, and Gon turns into an absolute bloody monster. monster. And th let's remember, Killua grew so fond of Gon because of the light that's in him. 
and sure everyone has some darkness in them but he was real he was exposed to the height of human darkness and i just don't know if killua would yeah i i don't know i don't know if it's the best thing for killua to stick around gone i just i just don't know oh, if it wow. is i hate to be that person but Oh, this this could be triggering. This could be triggering for some people, and I don't know if I completely stand by this statement. So can I just? You can just put it out. I'm there. just going to put it out there, but I don't know if I stand by the statement. Okay. I don't think Gon is a good friend. Mm. It's a bit like. It's more complicated than that, but I. Yeah, and I don't know if I stand by it because there have been times where Gon has, like, obviously Killua has changed because of Gon. Mm. But. I think that was just the nature of being around Gon before Gon was exposed to such things, right? So, therefore, I think Killua needs to free himself from Gon now. Aww. Yeah. I hate to say it, but... It depends how Gon is after all this. If we see Gon next episode and he's crying and apologizing to Killua and all that... Mm. Yeah. It's okay to make a mistake. <laughs> it. The thing is, Carly, it's not just a mistake, and he's done a lot of this sort of shit before. I'm not hating on Gon. All, the, all you people typing, just stop typing. <laughs> but the, the change in Gon was just very, very, um, wasn't just like a small mistake. Oh, I punched someone in the face. No, it was like, you I know. punched someone's face off their head. <laughs> no, but it was like, it was character defining. It was like a big, big change in Gon. Now I I don't know if this is the end of the arc just yet, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give my final thoughts on the arc because it was so long. It was literally an anime worth. Mm, it was yeah. an anime's worth of episodes just packed into this arc. So I'm not gonna give my final thoughts yet until we know. I'm pretty sure it's the next episode. Another thing that I I really liked was how when Meruem kind of fused with Yupi and Shia. That, you know, he obviously gained all of those different abilities mm. and everything like that. Yeah. Still didn't use any of, like, he didn't cheat his way through the game. Yeah. And, like, it's a small detail, but I just really liked it. That's why I'm saying that the last interaction was just the most pure interaction you could have expected from from those two. Found myself really emotional. Like, I haven't been too emotional during Hunter Hunter. Um, that there, that, like, got me just as good as any other anime episode that I watched, you know, like. To name a few, you know, villain saga episodes. Mm, um, yeah. You know, a couple of other, like, Your Lion April, Violet Evergarden. That got me just as good. So they really nailed it in that, in episode 135. In fact, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it's, that was my favorite. That's I know, favorite I know, every, I know everyone, 131, like, and <sighs> it kind of changed. I went from, like, I really loved 112 and 113 along with you. I know we really, really enjoyed those two. Um, and then maybe 131 topped that, but 135 is, that's the best one. Yeah. That's the best one for me. It was really poetic, wasn't it? Yeah. The writing was just really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. It all came together really nicely. Now we probably missed so much like symbolism and everything like that, that maybe we picked up on during the episode, but I've just forgotten. There's just too much to talk about. So, mm. um, I'm sure you guys will leave it down in the comment section below. Maybe leave your favorite part of the episode. There was so much that was packed in and just wrapped up really nicely. And we'll give our final thoughts on the arc, I guess, after next episode. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.